I'm Chad Simmons, record of recruiting for On3, and it's that time of the year, uh, college football kickoff. We had week zero last week, but real college football, the real kickoff to the 2022 seasons this weekend. That means visits are back in full swing, and obviously things will pick up throughout the season, but uh, this weekend ha has some very intriguing visitors across the country, and we'll start with the biggest game in the country, Notre Dame at Ohio State, and three high-profile edge defensive linemen headline this list, and two of those are official visitors from the state of Florida, five-star edge Keon Keeley and five-star edge Damon Wilson, both on official visits. Both have Ohio State high on their list, and we'll start with Keeley. Second time at Ohio State, they're up against Alabama and the University of Florida. I think this is a huge weekend for Ryan Day, Larry Johnston, the Buckeyes. If they want to get in there and compete with the two SEC programs that are based in the South, one home state, Florida, and of course, Alabama, the school he visited late in July that has the momentum, it seems, right now. Damon Wilson, you're battling against Alabama, Georgia, Miami, and Texas. I think this is a little bit more open. I like where Alabama maybe in Georgia are at this point, but uh, mainly Alabama. I think this is more of an open race. It's a very big weekend for Ohio State. Then you have Mateo Uyunglele coming in from California, who I think the Ohio State Buckeyes are trending for right now, mainly up against schools like Oregon and USC and Alabama. I think the Buckeyes are in a good spot uh, with one of the top prospects in the state of California. Moving down to the University of Florida, they have Utah coming to town and numerous visitors will be uh, in Gainesville at the Swamp, none bigger than five-star plus cornerback out of Lakeland, Cormani McLean. Cormani, I think, is, is really focused on Alabama, Florida, and you have schools like Miami, uh, Georgia, trying to hang around in there. But I think this one probably comes down to those three of Alabama and then two in-state schools, Florida and Miami. I like where Alabama is right now, but Florida's right there as well. Corey Raymond, Billy Napier, and numerous staff members are involved with McLean and the family. So a great job by them getting him on campus this weekend. Dijon Johnson, one-time Ohio State commit, reopened things earlier this summer. I think Florida is definitely trending here. This will be an unofficial visit for Dijon, uh, the star out of Tampa, Florida, Wharton High School. Uh, he's been to Gainesville numerous times this spring and summer, uh, and I think the Gators are in a great spot here. Going over to Alabama, uh, not a huge game, but a big visitor in town, Jalen Hale, four-star wide receiver from Longview, Texas, uh, visits Alabama officially this weekend, then goes to Texas next weekend to see them play Alabama, and then makes his decision later in September. It's really a two-team race. Alabama had Hale on campus late in July, and since that time, there's been some buzz around the Crimson Tide, just the way the offense intrigues him, how they get the ball to the big-time playmakers, but then Texas in-state school, he's close with numerous Texas commits. Uh, they've been the school trending uh, since late spring, early summer, but this has gotten a little bit more interesting, I think, over the last month or so, and the race is coming down to Alabama and Texas. Staying with receivers, closing out with Hakeem Williams, a big time target that again, another kid that will announce late in September on the 27th. He'll be in New Orleans this weekend to see LSU and Florida State play as a Florida State visitor. I think it says a lot for the South Florida talent making the trip to New Orleans as a Florida State visitor uh, this weekend. FSU's made up a lot of ground. They had him on campus for a multi-day visit late in the summer. I still like where Texas A&M is at the moment. I think that's a very tight race with FSU running a close second. He'll be at Pitt next weekend, then A&M the week after that, and then make his decision. But this race is probably long from done. Miami's involved. Georgia's in the mix. But right now, I like where Texas A&M and Florida State are as the top two for Hakeem. And do not sleep on those in-state Seminoles.